Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. That's a hole in the wall on the photo on the side, and I'm here with TNT. Right, right, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the steer. Yes, you is. We're uh, playing some control. You're the man with a master plan. So I got a new gun. Let's let's let's, let's just show it Don't off. Don't hurt a bit. yourself this time. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like at half health over here, or like not Two, even half. Two, three. Shoot, pull, explode. <laughs> She's a bad girl. Yeah, I wonder how much damage that does overall. I don't know. We're going to find out here very, very shortly. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, they're still alive. <laughs> I just shot their meat at you, dude. Oh, my God. Let's get all three in there. Oh my god, it does damage. Dude. Oh god, there's lots of boys too. Oh, so you don't have to like. Oh, you can do like just one? Yeah, dude? you can shoot just one. Oh, it sucks them into it and then shoots their meat it out does all over suck you. them in, dude. I love the, the suck, is like my favorite part of it. I'm very fond of the suck as well. Holy crap. Man. Why is there so many boys in here, dude? There's some OP now, I guess. So they're like, hey, we need to hook them up Step with a bunch up, of boys. Dude. At least you should get health from all these dudes. Yeah, I should be back up to full when this is all said and done. All right. All right, cool. We very, did it. very cool. We made it work. Weapon mods full. All right, so that's an issue. I did not realize. Well, I guess I kind of did, actually. But I did not go through these at all. So I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of level ones, I think. Just going to get rid of all of these level ones. Yeah, because you're you're higher than that in just about everything anyway, so. Yeah, nice. and then you can, like, off-camera inventory manage. Yeah, and I did not do that, and I was thinking, I wonder if there's, like, a finite number of weapon mods that you can actually have. Turns out there is, Jonas. Yeah, dude. Just like the good lord intended. I don't know where to go Every from clock says 345 in this B. Is that a problem? I don't like 345, dude. Get out of here with that. What's your favorite time of day? Four. Never mind. No, no. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know what my favorite time is. It's, it's the time of day where I get to do whatever that I want. So it could be, it's a varying you're, time. You're an adult. You can do whatever the F you want anytime. I gotta really stop pressing select. Not necessarily, dude. If you're at work, you can't do whatever you want. What does that mean? If you're at work, you can't? Yeah, because like you have an obligation to perform the duties they require of you, not to do what you want. No, oh, well, then that's an issue with work as a whole, isn't it? I believe that everyone should stop working. Really? Then how would anything get done, Jonas? Explain that one, Mr. Big Brain. With the um, <laughs> we get another country to do it for us. <laughs> Make Mexico pay for the wall? <laughs> um, <laughs> if that gets the job done. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to pay for it, and we don't have to work, right? <laughs> right. Sounds, Someone else will just pay for us. Sounds like a plan to me. We let another country pay for all. We become another country's sugar baby. Sugar babies? That's a new term for me, and I heard it the other day used in Get Off of Me Rope. And now, uh, I kind of like it. You've never heard sugar baby before? I have never heard that terminology before. Even the candy back in the day, there was sugar daddy and sugar babies. I remember the candy, but... I, I mean, mean, where do you think that came from? That nomenclature? I didn't realize it had to... Well, explain what a sugar baby is to A sugar baby yeah. is a woman uh -huh. who... Dates an older man for uh, his money. Or, you know, an attractive uh, man. Yeah. It's essentially a gold digger is a sugar baby. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, they, they provide services to the man that they may or may not want to do for monetary exchange. That, wow, that sounds like <laughs> prostitution. I mean... <laughs> Kinda. But it may be things like go on a date. <laughs> it may be things like go on a date. Instead of... Whoa, like, whoa, whoa! It's not all sexual, you know? That's nice. You can just shoot in their general area, and it, like, pulls them in. Yeah. You can just be like, thunk, thunk, thunk. He scared the crap out of me. All right. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, I don't know if I want to be a sugar... I wouldn't want to be a sugar daddy, but I'd, I'd sugar babe it up. You'd be Oprah sugar baby. Oh, you said God. that many a times. That is so true. Pride candidate program. All right, so I guess this is where I'm supposed to be. Would huh? you be... Whoa. The Bureau needs a director. I don't think I would like to be a sugar daddy. Even if I had all the money to do it. 
Uh, no, not 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 the first thing on my list of things to do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I would like because I would like know in my heart that the woman's not there because she likes me. Yeah, that's a problem. You know what I mean? Like, oh, she's with me because I pay for her stuff. Well, yeah, you get some of your needs fulfilled, but like ultimately, it's just shallow surface level stuff. Well, you know what? That's that's what I get. That's what I get. Um, yeah, so, like, you know, I mean, it depends on what the two people are looking for. To be sure. honest, am I looking for, like, the, the freaking next Mrs. Dynamite? Not necessarily. I really need this help. Yeah, I mean, I guess if, like, they're looking for money, you have money, you're looking for an attractive young woman to date... Exactly. They're willing. Wow! They're willing to date you in exchange for money. <laughs> I mean, I guess everybody's getting a need met. Exactly. It may not be healthy, but I mean, who's to say if it's healthy or not? I mean, I guess that's a point as well. Yeah, exactly, man. Like, I mean, I can't, I can't shame a man for wanting to give his money to a hot chick so she'll hang out with him. I mean, it may be the only sort of attention he can get, and that's how he feels he needs to do it. <laughs> yeah, but even still, I feel like you're belittling me the whole idea. And I, I mean, naturally, you, you should, because it seems like an unhealthy relationship. But... <laughs> right. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like <laughs> if that's what you want. I mean, some people have open relationships, you know? Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So if a person can have an un an open relationship and like the layman would look at that and be like that's not healthy, I don't like the open relationship. That's not how a husband and wife should react. And it's like, yeah, it's every the, your only partner should be everything and cover every single one of your needs. And if they don't, they should do it anyways. Yeah, it's like look, uh, when it comes down to it, mind your business, lady. <laughs> right. If we ain't hurting anybody, if we ain't hurting you, then back the f up. Exactly. Why are you concerned about where I'm getting my my netting from? <laughs> I thought you were talking about the ICP drink, netting one. <laughs> Turns out you're talking about the actual physical netting. Yeah, I'm talking about actual physical netting. Yeah, dude, I feel you. I, you? Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not a very judgmental person in general. You know, I kind of feel, I kind of have the mindset if it feels good, do it. If you're not hurting others, I mean, whatever, do your thing. Um, if both people are consenting and know the situation and no one's being, like, misled, then I guess, you know? Yeah, as, as long as nobody's being taken advantage of is the main thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, if the woman's doing it and the man, and she's making the man think that she really loves him. Exactly. And he, she's really just with him for his money. That's wrong. Yeah. If he wants to be like, okay, this relationship is, I'll pay for your stuff, you'll sleep with me. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm okay with that. Stuff, you'll sleep with me. I mean, that's essentially what it is. <laughs> no, she's providing a fantasy. Jones, you realize there's like people who like honestly like what they call like a uh, financial domination. Yeah, dude. Where like that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they like they just they want someone to just like take advantage of their finances <laughs> yeah yeah so that's a, that's like a real thing yeah and i i don't get that cause... i don't even understand how you would figure out that's something that you want uh i assume that it probably happens once or twice and then you're like oh my god it really turns me on that she wants my money <laughs> <laughs> that she just bleeds me dry i just make I... more though is this where i came from this is where i came from okay <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. So there's all type, there's all types of fetishes, I guess. If that's really what you want to call it, I don't know if that's really. I mean, a yeah, fetish. I guess it kind of is a fetish, right? Financial abuse. Yeah. <gasps> oh it's man, another, another episode. Ready. For a threshold kids. Oh, their threshold's so real. <sighs> she got I failed. You're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? <laughs> Uncle Mr. Bones. I'd 
too bad on my clairvoyance test. <laughs> you can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. We should make videos like this. You say that every time we watch one of these. I think it every time we watch Some one of these. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. Yeah, That's true. ESP. Extra sensory projection. <laughs> no interruptions. Jesus. Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes. You didn't even get to the last one. Yeah, he doesn't need to. Maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people or make friends blind. <laughs> oh! Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big, big chair. chair. Oh, no. Just a Herman Miller. <laughs> what is happening right now? What if I don't want the big chair? Then you die! What if I don't want the big chair? <laughs> Everyone wants the big chair, Mike! <laughs> That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Oh, yeah, you don't want that one. Okay. That was a good episode. Yeah, dude. I want to get in the big chair, Jim. No interruptions. Everyone wants the big chair, Meg. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. No interruptions. Oh, you know what? You can't you can't hurt anything in this room either. I can't like I can't smack mm -hmm. stuff around. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, you hit a hitty hide from me. Hitty hit a hide, dude. Give me hit that. the hitty hides from a hidey hole, dude. What does this say? Is it redacted? Hey, hey, hey. It's an event summary. There's some summarizations of some events. Oh. All right, we're back out where I can do damage again. Have you ever summarized something? Um, and that is a I bad question. Had gone <laughs> for us. Whoa. Oh, another one of these guys, too. Things. Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. Uh -huh. uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. It is. The boy, Dylan Faden, mm -hmm. prime candidate six. That's my brother. And the sister as well. Uh, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. Oh, they're talking about me. So much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here, and, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. Hmm. Yeah. So he, the brother is very, very strong. Yeah. Why do I feel like we're going to fight the brother? I was kind of getting that feeling too, but I mean. It's and then like she'll defeat him, and he'll be like, "Oh, brother, I didn't mean to do it." It's it's because it's cliche, and it makes sense, I guess. Yeah, it is very cliche. Oh my gosh, the collectibles, man! Dude, it's, it's so glitchy. I don't even know what to do with it. Look at all of that, dude. That one was a quick one, dude. You ever had your glitchy blade? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm seven. I'm confused. Yeah, dude, I feel you. <laughs> is I don't this even... what Dylan wanted me to see? Is this what Dylan it wanted is. me to see? It is! We need to find that projector. All right. Okay, what's in here? <gasps> I just got a new outfit, hey, Joni. P7 outfit. Oh, I'm putting that on, dude. You yeah, look like a mental patient. Oh, oh, yeah, good. I want to look like a mental patient. Bunch oh, of names. Dude, just Jesse Faden, peace. Oh, we are P7. We got our outfit. Cleveland, Ohio, 10, 11, 19. Where? I see it. <laughs> I was in Cleveland almost then. You were in Cleveland almost then. I was in Cle I left Cleveland in, in September of 19 when I was home visiting. All right. I was almost there when she got there. That's pretty cool. We used to play no, we're not listening to all of that, though. Nope. Do you Hello. want... Hello. Okay. Give me this. Do you have the time to listen to me, Ryan? Oh, it was wine. Hello? Can I come in? 
You have the time Answer. to listen to me whine. That sounds right, too. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about oh, nothing and everything? Spot all you were at. At. It's a big circle. Not a jerk. Don't think so, dirty. I'm this talking. is the room where I fought everybody in, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Already got yeah, that. All right, dude. so we're out of here. I kind of want to go down the freaking weird spiral hall, though. Like, I'm not sure, if, you know, which direction I'm supposed to go. Oh, in. wow. Yeah, look but at that. But I did notice this, and, like, this is this is some cool stuff happening over here, boy. Yeah, you got to go to research, it says, next. But, yeah, I like this hall. We should definitely keep uh, it. It doesn't give me a... Uh, it says locate the mirror in synchronicity. It's in research, synchronicity lab. Oh my gosh, dude, this is some weird stuff. It would be hard to walk. It would be. It's a good thing I can fly. I went to this thing when I was driving through Kentucky one time. It was like called the House of the Weird or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was like this. It was. I found it online before we went, and we went off road to find it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, it was at this. It was like this rock gift shop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it also you could pay like a dollar to go through like the House of the Strange or whatever it was, and like the guy who ran it died, so it was like what? his wife his wife was running it. Why you were there? No, and then so she's like, yeah, he's gonna. so then she had like the twelve year old boy take us through, and mm -hmm. and it was really weird. And there was this one spot where like. It was optical illusion where, like, the floor was crooked, but when you took, like, the point of it was, like, one person would stand on one side, one person would stand on the other, and you take a picture, and it made one person look really, really tall, and the yeah. other person looked really short, like, because he had, like, we had, like, the 12-year-old <laughs> boy stand in the tall corner, and my buddy stood in the right corner where he looked yeah. really small and took a picture, and it was like, oh, the optical illusions are fun. I like that. I like those little optical illusions. I've seen those on, uh, on the internet before. Yeah, it was worth a dollar. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I also, this was in 2008, I also bought some 1991 football cards from that store that same day. She had packs of unopened 1991 football cards for sale. Any and I was like, oh, I'll just buy some of these because why not? Any of them worth any money? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I don't believe they were. <clears throat> that room in there reminds me of Dodge Efficiency. Yeah, that's pretty good. That room in there reminds me of like I went to a, uh, like a fun house. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they call them fun, because there's really nothing fun about them. Nope, they're scary houses. That's the place to start looking. Hold on. All right. So this is Prime Candidate Program. We already did that ordinary. All right, all right. All right, uh, yeah, but uh, it reminds me of like a fun house I went to where like the floor was like the room was rotating, and it just kind of gave like this feeling of like the entire like room like moving to the point where it's like... You feel ill? Yeah, you felt like you couldn't keep your balance. Was it one of those where you were, you're walking on a bridge and like there's a yes. tube around you that's spinning? Like yes. the floor you're walking on is sturdy, but you're walking through a rotating tube. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that just, stuff is weird. And it just f's with like your center, your cent your sensory perception nations. Yeah, it really, really does. Oh, I can just pick you up when yeah. you're low. All right, fellas. Yeah, dude. I uh. I've never been a big fan of going to those haunted houses because they're really I, stupid. I and I don't like them because like I put my fist up every single time. <laughs> Anytime they scare you, you start yeah, swinging. Yeah, and then like you know they they have to tell me like at least once or twice like hey you can't hit anybody and I'm like oh yeah well you tell that to my uh, my reflex my fight or flight response. Yeah. You're talking and every about, time it's fight, mother effer. You're talking about like hundreds of thousands of years of evolution that you're just like, hey, go against that. I find myself laughing a lot when I go through that. Like, I almost, do too. Almost like offensively, because like I'm just laughing. They're jumping out and being like, oh, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I do that too. But it's like that nervous laughter. Like, I don't want to die. And it's like if you were if, like, look, all right, check it. If I was an insane serial killer. What better place to go than a haunted house, man? You can get a couple kills in before, you know, anybody even catches you. Yeah, I mean, if you play it right, you can get a couple kills in and then just, like, leave and no one will know you even did it. I feel like that was in a movie or something where, like, uh, an insane killer went to a haunted house and just, like, you know, you got, like, six, seven people before they were like, you know what, I think somebody's, you know, not as many people are coming out of here oh, I'm than sure they're going in. A, I'm sure it's a cheesy horror movie story. There Energy was a movie called Popcorn back in the day. It was a horror movie. 
It was about these kids that revived an old cinema, mm-hmm. and uh, there was like an evil man who lived in the cinema, and he started killing people. Mm-hmm. And the tagline for the movie was "Popcorn, buy a bag, go home in a box." Uh, I and I was like, "Dude, That's popcorn, bro." I and then get like, it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, and then people died in the movie and stuff. And I want like, to hear yeah. right. There's no way out. No, no. no, no Are no. we going to research? <laughs> Um, I don't know, dude. I mean, I guess so. Oh, it's an elevator. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this elevator. See where this goes. Ding! Oh no! They're gonna scare you, bro. It almost worked. It almost worked. It almost worked. Almost. Horseshoes and hand grenades, though. You know. Oh, you didn't. <coughs> you didn't even get a choice. Oh, you got to put on your outfit, bro. Experiments. Can you, can, you, do that you can't. You can't do that here now. Where do you have to do it at? Uh, one of the waypoints. Oh, uh, turntables. Dude, you can go uh, in and have a concert. Dude, I got a microphone in my pocket, so uh, you can have two turntables and a microphone. It only says one turntable. No, it says so, turntable. So somebody else has to bring the second one. Excuse me, sir. I'd like for you two all that. That was a good one, Bennett. Oh, dude, why did it bring you up here to a fight? I don't know, dude. The game is about fighting, so, you know, it's fine. Come on. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Pick yourself up on the side of the road. Get knocked over with your stupidity. Oh, I picked you up because you were low health. So the whole getting like picking boys up when they're low health, I never really feel like I utilize it. But I don't either. It's pretty good. Yeah, dude. There's nothing more uh, humiliating than being murdered by one of your friends that's almost dead. You know what? Just come here. Guess what? That, when you picked him up, it killed him. I know. <laughs> you should use that more often. Oh, you're almost dead? I'll just pick you up now. That's literally what I was just saying. Like, the whole picking them up when they're half dead thing, it's pretty good. Oh, you gotta, like, uh... Can I get in? You gotta, like, undo the room and all that stuff will go away and then oh, that'll open up. That's you know, like, fine. The Rubik's Cube fixes when it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, and yeah. then after that, then you can transfer to research. Probably, blah, blah, blah. Where is the red light? Oh my god, it's gone now. Let's make the puzzle pieces go away. How many voices was that? That was like seven different characters. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm good, dude. I got skills. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Fixed her up, dude. That's your problem. Your walls are all misshapen. Uh, Oh, it's time. It started there, and it's... It's gone away. Never. Gone away. Never. All right. We will t- we will check out the outfit. I cannot change the outfit here, which is just absolutely, that hurts my heart. We'll have the outfit on in the next episode, Jonas. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You've already done that. Do Twitch with him. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch. Uh, that's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. For Jonas. DNT. Catch you on the next one. We. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Are out. You can fly over that now.